is Bill C C15 we're talking about, eh? Pardon? This is Bill C15 we're talking about? Yep. Uh, what do we need to know about Bill C15? Bill C15 is mandatory minimum sentencing on all drug-related offenses. So anyone growing even a single cannabis plant in their home with no intention to sell it or deal it in any way would get a minimum of six months in prison. That's completely unreasonable. Why would they do that? I'm not entirely sure what their idea is, but for us as average pot smokers, what this would do would be re reducing the amount of dealers that we have because the risk would be higher. Yeah. This could cause the price to go up. This would cause the policing that would be needed to be even harder. The police don't want to do this. We had a police officer, who I will not name, okay. agree with us earlier today about this, that this would just cause more problems for them. Of course. Phone your MP. And what about the crime as well? Like, I yeah. mean, if there are fewer dealers, then it's going to make it more profitable for the ones that are still in it, right? Yep. So well, you know, and as far as the Canadian government is concerned, every last person in this lawn right now is a criminal. Uh, absolutely. I mean, what about the snipers on the roof? I mean, yeah. should we be worried that they're taking our pictures down and handing yep. it over to the authorities, police? perhaps? Yes, they are. Yeah. That's the point. That's why they don't arrest us today. They let us sit here. They let uh, us do it, take our names, and then the snipe on roof. Yeah. How do you feel about that? No, 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 no. It's not. A, um, shoot. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. It, they just have cameras. Okay. They just have cameras. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I, thought you no, mean, cool. I thought you mean. Uh, I, I didn't, yeah, but no, they want us here so that they can take our pictures so that they get us later on, is the thing. I yeah. haven't smoked anything yet. Hey, I mean, you're welcome to, today, if you like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just be in here, man. They consider you protesting it, is yep. the thing. Yep. Take some information uh, on this bill. It's a bill that we need to get a hold of, because oh. this could come into effect, Bill C-15, by the end of the month. We need to contact our members of parliament, either by email or by phone. Call them, email them, whatever you need to do. Let them know that this is not a bill we want. It's going to be mandatory sentencing for all drug offenses. So if you were to grow one cannabis plant in your home, with no intention to traffic it or sell it to anyone. Yeah, no, I think that's, in my opinion, I don't do it myself. Yeah. Being a Muslim, I'm not allowed. But I believe this, just outlawing it is infringing on personal freedom. That's why. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, you know what? There are a lot of people that don't smoke. And you know, that's your personal choice. Yeah. If you wanted to, you could definitely. I'd be more than happy to share with you. But that's because it's your choice. Everyone has their personal choice. I mean, I'm glad that you're here. The Thanks, more of us that show up and show that we, like technically every last one of us who just plays today is a criminal. Well, that's, well technically, yeah, but I mean, that's why we're here. I mean, this I is our democratic right to protest. I originally didn't know what this was about, and then someone else informed me. Yep. So. Yeah. Get a hold of, get a hold of the MPs, sure. Yeah? Thanks. Awesome. No worries. <laughs> is that spark now? Once it starts, I mean, it's not... It's uh, shotgun on the end here. But... <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> Thanks, man. Is it not legal today? Why? Um, Why would they get it later? Because technically, possession of marijuana is illegal. It's not illegal to be high. You could, I, I could get high and go on. And like, just I, drop I, I it in. Yeah. Just for fun, because it makes the world a lot more entertaining. But you know, you're in the bus. It's, it's not illegal that I am there and that I am an inebriated. It is, however, illegal to have been in possession of oh, the substance it. that made me inebriated. Whereas you think about it, if you had this many people together who consumed a large amount of alcohol, or so I was cooking right at home. Oh, yeah. well, I don't see any fights oh, right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you know, just met me. How many things is any worse now? It's hot. It's not. If anything, it's better for you. There's actually a lot of medical benefits too. I mean, like, oh, yeah. even if you're not ill, I mean, it's preventative in some ways too. I don't know. There's even evidence that it helps clean your lungs which kind of defies logic. It actually is an anti-psychotic, yeah. which also defies logic. Well, it defies the propaganda, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you feel about that stuff? I mean, we could actually just use this for like anti-anxiety and uh, general creativity, right? Research. I'm sorry? Research. 
research. Absolutely, yep. man. Well, and there's, uh, there's a device called a vaporizer that yeah. it doesn't burn the weed. It just it heats it to such a high level that the THC essentially is vaporized into the air, and you breathe that in, reducing 90 to 98 percent of the carcinogens. So well, the bad things with the smoke. So it's not a health problem. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. Do you mind if I grab one of those? Yeah, sure. I'm trying to spread the word. Get a hold of your next parliament. Let them know. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah, good work, my local MP is conservative, so I, I still phone mine today. Excellent. He's a conservative. Stephen Fletcher. Yeah, that was mine. Yep. Okay, we're in the same area. C15 is conservative bill that would see the adoption of mandatory minimum for sentences for serious yeah. drug offenses. Hey, serious. He's still the man that is representing us. Let them know that we don't want this, and if we did want this, we'd let them know. Mm-hmm. Good call. Well, I was pretty upset about that too. I don't know. Yeah. I thought they were back from Canada mainly because I was always just feared that Quebec would separate if you had the MVP of Liberal or anyone else. And I also feared carbon. But yeah. then, after, after Gaza and what Stephen Harper said, I just couldn't take it. What did he say this time? About about how it's, it's all the Palestinians' fault and Palestinians brought this on themselves. I can't go and see my Muslim brother or something like that. Yeah, support the same guy. Yeah, absolutely, man. No, I mean, I can't believe that uh, no country really took like any stand. Uh, France like helped deal with it after, right? My but own country, my own country, just kind of. Which country are you from? Egypt. Egypt. Awesome. I'm my dad is from Egypt, but you I were saw, born I still, here. I still, I, yeah, I was born here. I still have a lot of cool. connections there, though. Awesome. Well, yeah, it's tough. I mean, everyone's afraid to stand up to Israel even because they're so close to the United States, right? It's kind of like you slap Israel and the States is going to pounce on you. So, I mean, what are they going to do? I'm sorry, but I support Hamas. Besides Why the, not? Besides the throwing people off roof policy, other than that, they're pretty good. Yeah. Well, you know, no government's perfect. Our government sure isn't perfect. We need young people in government. <laughs> yes. Yes, we need more young people in government. Pardon? Oh, thanks, man. That was a shop class project. <laughs> I like it. What kind of wood is that? Maple. Okay. They told me that at least. <laughs>